Okay. Hello and welcome to another live stream. I hope that you are having a good day so far and um, I hope that the fan isn't making too much noise. It is officially hot today <laughs> for me. Um, so as usual, I need to do a couple little checks to make sure that everything is up and running. So I'm going to be slightly distracted, not perfectly focused at the beginning, but I will be with you in just a second. Okay. Just getting my unified chat ready. Carmen, hello, Victor, hi, welcome to today's stream. Okay, so it appears as though Facebook is working. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So I'm just checking, yes, all right. So Facebook is working. I'm just gonna close that and check Twitch really quickly. And then I will catch up on everyone's comments and hellos. But thank you so much for joining. This is gonna be fun. So, uh, yep, Twitch is working. It looks a little bit glitchy, but hopefully it won't have any issues for very long. <laughs> Hello, River Dragon, Sheldon. Rick, Chip, thank you too. I really appreciate you joining in. Hello, Michael. <laughs> thank you. My hair is up because it is very hot. <laughs> Mark Ramsey, I'm doing great. How are you? Rox, hello. Luis, Jeff, welcome everyone and thank you so much for joining in today. So, um, this is, oh, thank you, David, and Sable, hello. So what you guys are seeing right now is the main version. That one is complete now with some, with some little, it's yet to be approved. And secondly, um, you know, I'm still looking at it and making sure everything is right. I, I like to give it a couple days if I can afford it, which thankfully I can this time. To, to really look it over and see if I missed anything or forgot something, all that good stuff. JR, I'm so glad to hear that um, Twitch is running fine on your side. Yay! Cristobal, hello! Um, is anyone finding the, um, the fan noise in the background annoying? Let me know if you do. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hello again, Carmen. And thank you, River Dragon. Your dollar store had Cheez-Its three for five, was gonna buy them out and ship them. Aw, you're so sweet, Rick. <laughs> Yay, Sheldon. I'm so glad that it arrived and it got there safely. That is so the important part. <laughs> You can't hear me? Oh no! Oh, just kidding. Okay, thank you, Sable. All right. So, um, just as a little refresher for anyone who doesn't uh, know exactly how I work, or if you can't see the description, um, I am using what is called a Cintiq 22HD. So I can, I can set up the monitor I can draw directly on this monitor and I can set it up to where it's upright or I can place it more like an easel, right? Um, that makes it a little bit easier for me to draw and I'm also trying to keep it out of the camera line of sight, otherwise you're just going to see the back of a monitor. Hello Mark Ramsey. Nick, hi, welcome to the stream today. One question I was finding out. You finish? Uh, no, I haven't finished Witchblade yet, Victor. <laughs> I apologize. Um, it, um, it's, a, it's a commission, and, and as such, I have to mostly keep up with my deadlines, and then I work on that one. If I'm doing good on time, um, I'll work on it in the evenings and stuff. I can get it and show you where I'm at. I think pretty much I just have the last couple little touch-ups and then the two stones on her arm part of the witch blade, I still need to color in. But I'll get that and see if, if you can see it here. Um, let 
me see uh, if you guys can see this. Okay, so here she is. There's a little bit of glare, um, but this is where she's at right now. Now, if I put it any closer, it starts to uh, really get a glare. But anyway, I still need to, you know, add final little touch-ups, and then her, her stones are still white, so I need to do those. But as soon as I'm done with it, I will, uh, I'll post it for sure. Had to restart Xbox, the app was lagging. Oh, sorry, Nick. Hello, PerryCon. Jessica, hi. Hello, Timothy. All right, so I will show you. Um, right now, I'm actually working on the alternate version of the, the Lady Death cover. So I'm going to click over to that in just a second. Um, I need to put this away. go. Hello, Johnny. Thank you, Sheldon. Okay. Let me get back to Photoshop. So I have a stylus pen that works on this um, tablet, and then I just have a wireless keyboard that I keep to the side um, even though these tablets do come with hotkeys that you can program, I'm so used to just the, the keyboard hotkeys that that's what I stick with. Hello, Philip. Hi, Dane. Okay. So, um, like I told you guys, this is the main version. Um, the last time when we were all working on it together on the weekend, I, um, I was planning to make her dress white. Once I colored Lady Death in and was working everything out, uh, a black dress looked better. The white was just, there wasn't enough contrast between her skin color and the white dress, so I decided to make it black instead. Um, Hello, James. So now I'm going to be moving over to the alternate version. So this one is technically going to be risque. So her top is sheer. I'm not putting any of that in on live, obviously, or for obvious reasons. <laughs> Thank you, James. Rob, hi. I'm doing great, Philip. How are you? She looks better in black. Okay, thank you, JR. All right. Now, um, originally, my plan for this one was to make the sky red and the, the glow in the pumpkins green. I tried it. I actually tried out many different color combinations, and they didn't... They, they either lost the Halloween look, or it just didn't look that great. In, in the... the combined color scheme that I'm going for. So in the end, I, I tried a bunch of different styles and to me, this one looked the best. So that's what I'm sticking with. Gabriel, hello, welcome to the stream today. So I'll show you guys um, some of the layers and sort of how I build up the cover. So we're gonna start down at the bottom. Um, oh, here I have, you'll see the red sky, nothing else, you know, the mist is not, meshed in and stuff, but you guys can see um, some of the colors I was testing out. <laughs> and then here is the, the blue. Um, and then let's get, can turn off her makeup, turn off the risque clothes. So I actually, this is a little trick that I've learned in my course of learning to be a digital colorist and then learning how to incorporate and change the colors from one main version to an alternate outfit because usually that's kind of the the primary thing that changes from a main to a risque or an alternate cover is the outfit so now what i do is i paint the skin as if there was nothing on it um i don't put any shadows from the clothes on this layer i don't put anything aside from the skin or if it makes you feel better we can pretend she's in like a, a white bodysuit <laughs> so that you don't think it's nude <laughs> so um the um 
this one, that's how uh, I get to where I can change the outfits because I'm using the, both versions of the clothing as a sticker, basically. <laughs> how long will the risque stream <laughs> last on YouTube? Taking all bets, <laughs> right, Kyle? Well, there is, um, she does have clothes on and it, it looks like a gray top, so I'm hoping it'll last. So anyway, I'm turning the clothes back on um, and then there's things like a uh, skin overlay where I, I put like a, a tone on Lady Death. Basically the way I see Lady Death is that, well, for starters, her skin is essentially gray and white. It's, it's white, but you have to put some shading on it or it just looks like it's not colored yet. Um, but then what I do is I'll take the ambient colors from around and I will make, you know, say it's a, the light source is orange in this case, and I make an orange layer and I set it to either overlay or color dodge in the layer properties. And that just gives her skin a glow, but it has a little bit of an undertone to it. And I think that that really helps with Lady Death so that she, she has a little bit of a natural vibrancy to her skin in some way even though it's it's completely um like white and gray <laughs> you got my new book it looks fantastic just saying thank you so much frank i really appreciate that <laughs> all right so now what needs to happen is things like this because this i sort of forgot to pre-plan and I erased some of the mist on the strips of her dress to make it look like it's either in the foreground or in the background or you know I wanted to give the dress some depth I'll show you guys the dress here so look the dress in between all the pumpkins I, I made some of them having some mist in front some of them having no mist in front and now I have empty places <laughs> from the mist, which is really annoying. <laughs> so now I have to go in and fill those areas. I really should have thought that through a little better. <laughs> um, and then there's some places in the mist in the background with the same thing where there's like weird missing strips from the dress version, which is unfortunate. So, um, I'm going to work on the background mist. I have a idea of how I can do the mist um, and see if this works. I'm thinking to um, get a, a, a brush that is um, like a, a smudge tool, and I'm going to see if I can just kind of smoosh it around a little bit, and that will help the, the mist blend again without me having to repaint it and worry about like overlap lines and stuff. So let's see if I can find a, um, a blending brush. Jeff says, I received my Lady Death package today and it has your artwork included in my first artwork from you. Aw, thank you so much, Jeff Martin. I really appreciate it. Juan, hello. Can you see the dress again? Yes, of course, love. Just let me get a brush. All right. Maybe this one will work. It might not. All right. So we're going to go back to the dress version for Carmen. Now you guys are getting a sneak peek. And this is um, from Coffin Comics being so kind to allow me to show you guys the process. And so you can sort of see how something is... Um, created and then you know how the alternates are done um you're the only ones that are going to get to see it like this otherwise um my email list i'll send a couple like maybe a little tiny um snapshot of a portion of it but those that are on the live streams get to see the full thing <laughs> yeah sorry philip Okay, so I'm, I have a blending tool right now, and I'm going to see if this works. 
I would very much like a slightly more smushy brush. Let me see if I can get maybe impressionist brushes. No. Me no likey those ones. Hello, Candice, and thank you so much for your email. I'm sorry about the delay. I will get back to you. I loved your email, though. Kara, hello. All right, so I know it's not showing up for you guys, um, but what I'm doing right now is I'm looking through my, um, my brushes, and I'm trying to find a good smushy one that will hopefully just smear around some of my um, smear around some of my mistakes with erasing <laughs> the mists that I had. Looking amazing. Yay, thank you so much, Candice. Hello, Gordon. I'm almost done looking for a brush. I'm so sorry, you guys. I did. <laughs> nice, Chicago. All right, I think all purpose blend will be just what I need. Hello, J Headshot. So sorry, Carmen. All right, foreground. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm going to select so that I don't get missed all over. Um, all over the uh, the places I don't want it to be. And I'm just gonna select all the areas that I do need it. Hello, Nader. I'm doing great, thank you. Thank you, Juan. Actually, you know what, what I should do is just select everything and then deselect the areas I don't want the mist to be. Hello. All right, that's perfect. So what it's doing is it's just blending where I need it to blend and nowhere else. I need to turn off some of these layers because it's picking everything up. Oh, thank you so much, Juan. 
Oh, and I missed a question. Are you going to try and do any cons later this year? Probably, Benjin. I'm still waiting to see how everything turns out with COVID. Good evening, Shirley. Okay, let me turn this back on. All right, we're almost done. Sorry, everyone. Oh, thank you so much, Johan Charles. Almost done, almost done. Okay, someone just started following me on Twitch. Thank you so much, new follower. I'm so sorry I can't see um, who is following me because I, um, I'm looking at Photoshop. But thank you so much. All right, now I'm just going to get Cloud Brush. I'm choosing an orange color. Ah, that's way more than I wanted. Taking down the opacity and flow, taking down the size a little bit, because I just want to fill in this area a little tiny bit. Hello, Jeff. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I don't know what that align the stars thing is. Is anybody else? <laughs> Hello, Cumbri. Welcome to the stream today. I'm working on a Lady Death cover right now. Um, 
and I'm just trying to get some of the mist back in and fix up some of the things because um, I'm working on the alternate right now. So, you know, there's always a little bit of adjusting. No, it's definitely not something Dan set up. All right, now I'm just gonna erase some of that because that's a little bit too strong right there on her thigh. Just gonna erase that a teeny bit. Mubot is being mean today, oh no. There we go. Your Kickstarter from Brian is on the way and the silver and white statue. Ooh, awesome. <laughs> okay, so I'm happy with that. I fixed the mist ish in here Let's make this a little bit bigger hello Carmelita welcome to the stream today I think I need to get a little bit of purple mist uh, right there in between where her legs are because um, I didn't need to do that on this one um, because it's all covered, right? So um, there, those are things that I'm going to need to work on now. And that's the, that's the back and forth of creating an alternate version. Um, and I definitely want it to look enough like a different cover that it's not, um, it's not too the same. Right? I'm keeping the exact same picture, but I'm trying to at least change as much as I possibly can along with the outfit. Um, so there's, a, there's just a few places that like I missed when working on this one because they weren't necessary. Or um, like the strips of cloth were covering a lot of the leaves that are in the background, but now the leaves are no longer covered and you can really see um, that they're they look too close like back here they some as they go further away i need to compensate for the environmental perspective where things get less bright and, and they get a bit more um desaturated and stuff which helps give the picture depth like everything on here is is on one plane but i need to try to do like color trickery to, to make it look like it has depth and make it look like some leaves are closer than others. So um, that's what I'm working on in this whole change. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Jeff. All right, now um, there's a few other things I need to fix from the, uh, the other version. I created some mist in there to try to um, make the background look, you know, the, the creepy Halloween um, <clears throat> graveyard scene. When you think of that, you definitely think that there's fog and mist around and that gives that eerie look, right? Uh, if you weren't on here when I started, um, I explained that in the vi version that I started with, there were places where I wanted the uh the cloth and all these little strips to look like they're further away or some of them closer up so i had to erase in certain parts of the the mist layer <laughs> and i should have duplicated it and saved a copy before i went and erased it because now i have to fill those little blank spots in so you can see some of them here and there um right in this area where my brush is uh, you can see that there's a little strip where the mist is gone. So now I have to fix them. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Shirley. I really, really appreciate it. 
Adam says, no touchy. It looks amazing, Dawn. Aw, thank you, Adam. There are some spots, though, that need some fixing. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because the missing areas of mist looks, it'll bother me forever. <laughs> Hello? Oh, what happened, Carmelita? So what I'm going to do is I need to turn off the layers because it seems like my blending tool picks up everything. So I'm going to turn off the color layers for a minute and just try to do some more smooshing. No one ever finishes a piece, they just run out of time. That is very true Tranquil Mist. My, my hair is just tied up. I do have bangs, but um, it's just folded over in the back. I have a, it's all folded back over here in a bun, and then this is just the excess. <laughs> Nobody sees them, only you. <laughs> you should have our names on the tombstone. You know, I thought about putting names on the tombstone, and then it seemed kind of morbid, <laughs> so then I took them off. Okay, uh, I'm just getting my little blendy tool again, and I'm going to smush the mist around. I'm going to turn off the color layers. Whoops, am I on the wrong layer? Yes, I'm on the wrong layer. But you're all dying. <laughs> all right. Where else are those little strippy strips? I'm gonna take the strength of my smooshy tool down a little bit. took it down too much. All right, I'm going to turn everything on again just so I can see if there are any more. Okay, so there's some there. That glow right here is um, on a different layer. So that's not something I need to worry about right now. And I'm just going to go over here and check. All right, I might need to add a little bit more mist in the background. I never seem to control the strength of my smushy tool. <laughs> I am so not, I swear. Hello, Luis. Hello, Marcus. You're just gonna PayPal me. I am not doing that. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Adam. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my uh, brush tool and I'm just going to use a smooth um, airbrush tool, which is what I used for the background mist stuff, I think. Um, Will this be a print? Would love to hang this on my wall. Thank you so much, Shirley. Yes, I imagine uh, once Coffin Comics has um, the, the cover out, I would imagine at some point there will also be prints, and then a few months later, I will have some as well. So if you haven't already subscribed to my email list, by all means, feel free, though in my case, it will be a bit of a wait. <laughs> So 
I need to grab the color that I assume the background uh, the mist is because I uh, I colored it in uh, in green originally and then I just did the color slider <laughs> cheat cheat so I'm just gonna put a little bit more mist in here and there where I feel it is appropriate get the opacity up a little higher I need to make sure that I have proof colors set on and what proof colors are is that'll tell me if um, I'm accidentally uh, getting the wrong like colors that won't print properly um, because this is of course going to be printed um, in comic book format and whatever I uh, I need to make sure that it can actually be be printed and that the colors exist in the real world so um, that's something that I, I really have to watch out for when I'm working um, in uh, digital coloring because not all of these colors I can do a color that looks great on the monitor but it won't print and it'll look kind of gray and awful <laughs> so you I always have my thing set to CMYK What? Why is it still set to view? Oh, there we go. <laughs> you do that too? So happy to know it's not just a new artist thing. I don't re remember what it is your... Uh, Referring to Carmelita, but I'm so glad if any of my mistakes or any of my uh, struggles are encouraging, that's great. <laughs> because I don't want, um, I don't want uh, to give the impression that everything is just super simple and, you know, you're, it just comes perfectly naturally and nothing uh, is complicated and all of that because then that gives kind of an unrealistic opinion of what being an artist is and you know everybody has bad artist days I sure do or you know it takes time to learn how to do certain things and all that the color slider oh yeah for sure <laughs> we all learn by Dawn's mistakes oh that's awesome <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm selecting this area because I want to work right in here. And as such, it's just easier to do that if I've already got um, it pre-selected and I don't have to worry about screwing up. <laughs> so it's still selected. I just uh, chose to hide the selection. And I'm getting a little bit more purple going on in here. There's some blues and some purples, and we're just going to have fun finger painting and smooshing around. So the trees are actually still kind of a blue-green from the alternate version. I tried changing them to blue, um, and they just blended way too much into the background. So um, here they are in the alternate version, and I actually haven't changed the colors on them. You're eating wine gummies and having a beer. <laughs> okay, so we are back in the other version. I'm, I'm content with the, the mist now. So, I think those things are fixed. Oh, yay. Thank you so much, Caleb. All right. And one thing that I did, um, I'm still experimenting with this, but I'll show you guys so that you can see. And maybe I'll even um, turn it up a little bit more so you can really see what it is I did. All right. So this is an overlay layer. I have it sent to, set to like a dark navy blue. 
to give everything the overall look of nighttime. Um, <clears throat> I don't want it to be so dark that it prints badly. So what you see on your monitor, because monitors are backlit, you know, there's light in there somehow that's making the, the screen not completely dead, right? Um, however, what happens is that can be a little tricky to work with as a digital colorist because at the end of the day, this is going to be printed. So it, I have to watch out that what doesn't look too dark for me here is gonna print really dark. Um, so I'm gonna turn this up to, let's say, 57. That's kind of what it actually would look like if I didn't have it lightened. But it doesn't give it that overall nighttime feel. And if I wanted something really dark like this, I would just lighten up her skin or something like that. But I don't want it that dark. So um, that's why I have it turned down to, well, right now it's at eight. So um, it does give it a little bit of a bluish hue, which I think really helps. Brandy Masterpieces needed stat. <laughs> Agreed. Is Brandy here? So the pumpkins are in. The pumpkins are done. Let's start working on the leaves and then we'll start working on her clothes. Um, you know what? Sometimes that happens with Twitch, Adam. So um, it could be Twitch that's being a little bit glitchy. And if you want to, you can move over to Facebook. It should be working. Matthew, thank you so much. So now I need to add some blue into the leaf layers to... Um, get some of the leaves to look like they're further away from us. So I'm going to my flats. So there's a little bit of twitch pixelization. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Chicago. So like some of these need to go back into the background. So what I'm doing is I'm just selecting them and I'm going to um, just actually put a little bit of purple over the leaves so that they, um, they aren't quite so bright. They need to go back there. And the way that I can kind of fake, fake it that they're, they're further away from us is by um, removing some of the saturation. Oh, thank you so much, Chester, and thank you for joining me. That's awesome. Today I am working on a Lady Death Halloween cover, which is way fun. I have never colored a Halloween cover before, and I have only ever done one other Halloween cover in my uh, artistic career, so this is really fun. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Nia Moon. You love the string that dress, but this palette rocks. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Rob. I really wasn't sure if I uh, was making the right call with the, the palette. For me, picking colors is the hardest freaking thing. Um, so that means a lot. It really does. John, hello. Hanusol, welcome to the stream. Thank you for showing the alternate clothes. Oh, yay. Thank you, Scott. And if anybody wants, I do have both versions. Ah, thank you, Really Tall. I have both versions, so I can show you the, the other one. Um, Jeff, thank you. All right, so this is the... Technically the risque version, there is no risque bits being shown on live because that's not something that we're, um, we're doing. Um, but I'll do that after the live stream. <laughs> so this is technically the risque version. I have not colored her clothing yet. Um, and then this is the main version.
digital art is real progress in my opinion, but so far I guess it always will be based on classic art. Uh, loving progress, the lighting is soft. Oh, thank you so much, Jeff. <laughs> thank you, Candice. Rocks, you guys are all being so kind. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I will be the first one to admit that digital coloring is still something I'm, I'm in the process of learning. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I will, I'm just trying to learn and progress and, you know, that happens slower than and anyone would wish, I think. I don't think anybody is like, oh yeah, I think I'm progressing too fast right now. <laughs> I mean, maybe someone does and we should all be so lucky, but um, I'm still working on learning and, and trying to get brave with colors and all of those good things. I do use my, my, my trusty color wheel that I got at Michael's like 10 years ago. <laughs> and it's, it's really handy. I know it feels like, oh, that's so like, elementary to need, but I find it extremely helpful to just um, know the rules. Even if you're planning on breaking the color rules, it's good to know them. <laughs> Progress, not perfect perfection. That's right, Neo Moon. So much hearts to you, too. You still refer to your color wheel 20 years later. Oh, that's so great, Matthew. Ralphie, hello. Um, just so everyone knows, when I'm looking down, I'm not trying to be rude, I'm reading your comments. So I have my monitor right in front of me. I'll go like this and show you. This is the back of my monitor, ooh ooh. And um, so I have my Photoshop on this side and then I have the, the comments on that side. So I keep looking down and that's why. And I'm trying to remind myself that when I'm saying hello to you, I shouldn't be reading and saying hello. I should be looking at you and saying hello. <laughs> no, thank you so much, Adam. There is so much more than 10% love, Ralphie. Don't listen to Moobot. It's being grumpy and nasty today. You need a view from behind me. <laughs> All right, I'm lost. I can't remember what I was going to do just now. Oh, yeah, the leaves. <laughs> All right, so I have purple selected. I'm going to actually take it a little bit more grayish purple, perhaps slightly more into the blue. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my regular airbrush brush and I'm going to give it a little, I don't know, food, food. That sounds like a fart, <laughs> but I'm just trying to give it a little bit more of a uh, grayed out tone. I don't like it on that leaf right there. So we're going to try this again. You like both traditional and digital. They're both pretty awesome to me. I agree, Carmelita. Um, right now I'm coloring digitally, but um, the series that I work on called Divinica is actually painted. So I don't know if I already showed you this, but I work on a comic book series with J.P. Roth. <clears throat> I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but the whole book is, is actually painted traditionally and I did it on live stream. So, um, I'm going to be starting in on book number six, uh, probably in September or October is when I'll be painting. Um, but yeah, I do it on live stream. So if you're interested in that, I use watercolor and pretty much every coloring tool I have. So it's a lot of fun. Did 
So I don't know if you guys are able to see much change in what I'm doing, but I am just adding a little bit of this purpley mist color onto the leaves that are further away. And I can pretty much determine which ones are further by which ones are smaller and probably behind her. Um, so the reason why I'm doing that is because I wanna give depth. I wanna make some leaves look like they're, <clears throat> they're not all on the same layer. I'm trying to make it all kind of go back into the, into the page and getting them, um, giving that depth is pretty much all done with trickery on a single flat surface, right? So it's all just learning how to make things look further away and closer, even if they're the same color and all of that. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now, we're gonna do another little bit of trickery. Hopefully the trickery will work. The other version, the cover, the background is greenish. Now I have rim lights and ambient light on a lot of these varying elements with green. I probably should have done that on a different layer so that I could just color slider it, but I didn't. So now I'm gonna have to fix it. <laughs> That's awesome, Carmelita, yay! I hope you're able to join, um, join in when I work on those. And if you want to, I will be keeping everyone updated as far as what projects I'm starting on, where everything is at, via my email list. And so if you go to my website, the URL is right be beneath me right here, um, then you can subscribe and you'll get a weekly update email. Um, I try to keep them short, but I'm not very good at brevity. <laughs> you don't have to read them all though. <laughs> all right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the skulls. So the skulls are gonna be the, the next thing I need to incorporate into the new blue background. <laughs> There's one skull right there and another one over here. Boy, I hope this works. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to image adjustments and do replace color. So in order to replace the color, I'm gonna select the greens and I'm, um, so I've selected the greens and I'm gonna try to change the color of the greens. To more of a blue purple. Okay, I need to set the fuzziness higher. No. So that's how it was before, this is how it is now. I'm gonna have to adjust it and paint over those areas, but at least I've got a little bit. Scott, hello, hello. Evie, welcome to the stream today. Will Sherlock be hiding in the Lady Death pumpkin? Aw, I wish. It would be cool to see the process from over your shoulder, aw. Well, at least, at least sharing screen is close enough, I hope. <laughs> Scott, did you open the package yet? I'm so nervous. I wanna make sure that everything arrived safely. Those leaves in front of the right leg are exactly awesome for 3D. Aw, thank you. Yay. All right, so. 
now the unfun job of trying to make sure that I can get the right colors going on. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn up the hardness of my airbrush brush and um, turn down the opacity a little bit and let's start painting in the skulls. Oh, welcome new followers, Sassy La. Thank you so much for joining. My year has been made. Pics posted in three groups. So happy right now. Yay! <laughs> um, how, how, how was it unpacking all that? <laughs> Apologies. I sort of went for my life there. <laughs> Zaifira Tiano. Did I say that correctly? Hello and welcome to the stream. Today I am working on these skulls. Well, I'm working on a cover for Coffin Comics. So I am a comic book artist and um, right now what I'm trying to do is change the, the tones of the cover to the, the new color scheme. So the first cover that I did was this one and this one has a green background and so all the the side rim lights and all of that stuff were green now for the alternate version i'm changing it to a blue sky so in a few places i have to go in and paint out the green and change it to blue <laughs> You know this one, I like your stream and I follow your video. Thank you so much. It took about 20 minutes to open. <laughs> Mo wanted to know if you were trying to give Coffin a run for their money on the packaging. No, I wasn't. I'm just trying to do a good job because I'm so worried. You're an artist eight years in oil painting. Ooh, that's awesome. All right, I think that is too blue. It's kind of lacking, Blech, I don't like it. All right, let's fix this up a little bit. Opacity, Pick up the opacity a little bit more. I'm gonna select the actual color of the skull and just fix this up a little bit more manually. I didn't like the, the color change. I didn't care for any of that. So I think I'm just gonna have to go in and redo this manually. So I'm coloring over the blue and I'm going to just redo it. All right, so we're back to the beginning here. Now I'm just going to choose a darker brown. For starters, I'm just going to put in some shadows. So what I'm using is just the airbrush, but I have um, the, the tool set to um, like a harder brush. So you can make the, the, the spray, as it were, of your brush. You can make it like really soft and kind of fan out, a, a little, blah, 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 blah. fan out further, or you can kind of tighten it in. And so that's what I've done. It's not extremely, um, soft but it also isn't like as hard as say working with a pencil or something like that and now that i've got some of the shadows back in there i can go in and add the blue englishing i know i fail <laughs> so i'm going to go down and do the same thing on this one It's unfortunate when you have to like repaint something, but you know, 
no matter how hard I try to cover all my bases, there's always some little detail I forget. Like I, I feel like I'm learning and I, I did a little bit better this time as far as not forgetting to, um, you know, keep things on separate layers and, and plan both at the same time and sort of, um, color with the mindset that I'm going to have to do this all over again. Um, and minimize the amount of work overlap. But I keep, uh, there's always something that I forget to remember, I forget to save out a copy or to have it on a separate layer. Yeah, it's, it's new, new finesse. <laughs> I need to, um, I need to remember stuff like that. But you know, uh, all it takes is making this mistake a few times and you'll remember. <laughs> Konami, hello! You're just here to tease me. Nice. <laughs> it really is complicated for me, Rob. That's for sure. All right, now what I'm going to do is take the hardness down completely, make it more of a soft airbrush. And I'm just going to add in some shadows. I'm just trying to get rid of the green right now because we no longer have any green light anywhere. So I can't have green in, in, the, uh, in the piece. Thank you, Konami. Oh, yay, thank you, Sable. Okay, so now let's get a side blue light. I'm not going to choose quite that dark of a blue. I'm going to go with the slightly lighter one. Then maybe I'll pick one of these more saturated blues. I'm just going to put that in there. I have to do it on the pumpkin too. <laughs> Super bummer. Okay, and now I'm gonna take the hardness up, size down, and brighten up the blue a little bit more and get some highlights going on. Kylie, hello, welcome to the stream today. How are you doing, hun? Ooh, I quite like this blue. All these things are just happy little accidents that just sometimes work out. Yay! <laughs> Check out that blue. I'm having so much fun with it. All right, let's get the blue going on up here too. Thank you, Nick. Ah, so up here the blue is not showing up quite so vibrantly. Hmm. Let's bump it up a little bit more. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Steve Paxton. I really appreciate your support. <laughs> Hello, hello. Get a little bit of blue on that side of the nose. <clears throat> All right, now I need to do the blue on the um, crown. And blue over yellowy gold sometimes can look a green. So I, what I'm trying to remove is the green. So this is going to be exciting. Dawn, is there such a thing as art insurance? You know, I bet you there is, Sable. Um, as far as, like, what you would insure, like, you can insure your art in your house, I guess, like, how you can insure your um, property. Um, and then 
Like when I'm shipping art, there's insurance for sure. I don't really know what you mean precisely. Hello, Witchell. Liz, thank you so much. Juan, I can't be your chat girl anymore because Tannis is here. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's super interesting, Nick. Uh, Sable, just so you know, Drican or Dracane is, is Nick. So I, I keep referring to him as Nick. I hope that's not confusing people. All right. I like that blue. Ooh, it's fun. All right. Pumpkins and crown now. Okay, crown. So this is the tedious side of doing, working on a patch or an alternate version. Oh, so there's, there's recolor. And I think, I think um, everyone that I've talked to that's been coloring for a long time and I've been like, do you have any secrets for the alternate version to just expedite the process? And I think everyone is still kind of like, well, sometimes literally you just have to do the grunt work of the redo. The crown worked out really well despite all our various recommendations. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Rob. I, uh, I did try out everyone's recommendations. I, I promise I did. Um, I was even planning to have it be a black like wrought iron crown. Um, but you know, then you just gotta go back and forth and see which ones, which things look the best. All right, it's a start. <clears throat> yeah, it seems like uh, Twitch is really pixelated today. Most unfortunate. Oh, I didn't take it as criticism at all, Rob. You're awesome. Kylie, I tried the red and the green that I had planned and it just, it didn't look right. It didn't look good in my opinion. So I, uh, I've changed to uh, blue. I'm actually quite happy with it. <laughs> Ian, welcome. Now I just need to put a little bit of the actual um, gold tones in there. So I'm going to take the hardness down and the opacity down. I just need to soften out some of the green that's in there. I tried all of those things, Kylie. I did like six or seven different alternate attempts and this one looked the best <clears throat> this was a traditional piece witchel um in the line art um and then i scan it and color it digitally 
So, and that, you know, sometimes I color traditionally for a project or sometimes I color digital. And it really just depends on the project, the character, the overall look and, you know, method that most covers are published in by a specific publisher. So it just, it really depends. Um, and this one I'm coloring digitally. So I'm just going to get a little bit more blue in here. I'm, I'm trying to give that illusion that the crown is not sticking on the top of her head, which is a little bit hard to do when her hair is completely white, because then it kind of makes anything that has a, a more brilliant color to it look like a sticker on it, right? So I'm having to... Um, mold it to her head, you know, and I'm so trying to make the front look like it's catching more light because of her lantern. Um, but then the sides, I'm trying to have it pick up the, the ambient light around her, which will hopefully push it back so that it really looks like it's around her head. Oh, thank you, JR. So that's why I'm pulling in some of the, the color from the sky and the color from around to to hopefully help with that optical illusion that it's going back and around her head. I hope that makes sense. As everybody knows, I'm kind of a failure at Englishing. <laughs> that made perfect sense. Phew. Just a note for all of us. <clears throat> Dawn is obsessing, very kindly you said fantastically, over the joint between the crown hair and skull on something that will ultimately be one fourth of an inch of a comic book cover. <laughs> oh, lol. True story, Rob. Too much Canadian in you. <laughs> There we go. So I think now it molds. On the one side, it's picking up the blue ambient light. On the other side, it's picking up the much lighter, almost gray color of the moon. We are content. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I had one tiny sip left of my coffee and I'm always so happy when I, think that I have one sip left and I actually do have one sip left. It's really sad when I think I have a little bit more coffee left and I don't. Interesting. He insured every completed painting he did. That's super interesting, Marcus. <clears throat> That's her problem. Her coffee's way too strong. <laughs> it's a coffee drinker thing. Every once in a while, I think I have enough alcohol in front of me, but I never do. <laughs> Rob, you're on a roll. <clears throat> okay, now it's time to work on Les Pumpkins. I think, oh, okay, no, there's a little bit of green on these ones back here too. I think those are the only ones that I put ambient light on, yeah. I'm really happy with this pumpkin. He looks quite naughty. 
The very, very lowest pumpkin is the naughtiest pumpkin. <laughs> That's a good suggestion, Jacob. <laughs> right, Candace? And for me, once I'm like sitting down and under a blanket and all comfy and I have all my art supplies and I'm ready to start coloring, that's when I remember. Or like I'm working on traditional art and I'm sitting in bed. Right then is always when I remember I forgot something and I need to get up out of all of my stuff and go get it. And it's a real bummer. So my kids <laughs> think cautiously about coming in the room when I'm drawing because I'm most likely going to ask them to play Go Fetch. <laughs> Damien, hello and thank you. <clears throat> uh, just a reminder for everyone. Um, <clears throat> gosh, I don't know why I'm losing my voice. If you uh, say something to me on the chat and I don't respond and you want me to see it, just put it up again, okay? Because sometimes I'll miss, I'll miss something. <clears throat> so I'm taking the opacity down because for starters, I just want to do a smooth rim light. Mm. I might have to cover this with the sort of darker pumpkin color first. Yeah, I have to cover the green before I can start adding in the blue. Get the hardness up, get the opacity up. I want a hard brush for this. <laughs> Sometimes the twitchers make the chat move too fast. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> yeah, I need to go get myself. Well, I have water. Hydrate check. Yes. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right, so first things first, I'm putting in the darker shadows to cover up the, um, the green because uh, there's too much green in there and trying to put it with, cover it with the blue, it wasn't quite working, so um, I'm just going to have to manually adjust it. <laughs> Thank you, Louie. Welcome to the stream today. Did you drink Armenian coffee? I should check that out. Robert, hello and welcome. Um, Sable, do you think it was image artists in the 90s who started the femme comic book body look? I don't think so. I mean, I think that, that there was, it's, it's evolved over time, but I think even a lot of the original comic books did have the, the, um, the comic book body to a point, you know, and then everything sort of morphs and changes over time. Uh, Steve is asking, how difficult was it to learn how to color digitally or does it come more naturally as an artist? Well, I'd imagine it comes a little bit more naturally for me as an artist and also I'm coloring my own work. Um, I haven't really colored anyone else's yet. Um, however, it was, it, it has been and it is being a, a, quite a learning curve. Um, but I'm grateful for it because, you know, then I can, 
I can color everything I'm working on. But yeah, it's it's not been quite as easy as I wish it would be. <laughs> See you later, Adam. Thank you so much for hanging out. Lots of love to you. <laughs> well, the reason why I said yet is because I believe I'm going to, for that project that I'm going to be doing with uh, Ebass, I, uh, he wants me to color it, which is really exciting and a lot of trust. Uh, so I'm a little, I'm a little nervous about that, but excited. <laughs> Nothing is as easy as you'd like, except Juan. He's easier. <laughs> oh my god, you guys just constantly trolling each other. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Matthew says, I think Power Girl really started the sexy girl in comics when the artist kept push pushing the boundaries of her bust. <laughs> All right, covering up the greens, and I'm going to be swapping it with blues. I wish, I wish, I wish that I had uh, planned this in and kept my green on another layer. And I knew it when I did it. I knew this was going to be my problem. Have you tried streaming on Twitch? How are... Beloved Jim Lee does it. Yes, Jacob, I'm actually streaming to Twitch right now as well. Yes, that was a Facebook person. <laughs> uh, I haven't, Robert. Oh, thank you so much, John Paul. All right. Now it's time to start adding in blue. So all I'm doing is I'm just color picking from the sky somewhere and um, painting that in. I'm gonna take the hardness down a little tiny bit. The opacity is probably fine. <laughs> Oh, okay, noted, Sable. <laughs> no worries, Jacob. It, how would you know that if I was streaming to Twitch at the same time? So it's, it's all good, but I am, um, I, w I was streaming on Twitch prim uh, exclusively for quite a while, and now I'm uh, streaming in, in both places. You're just, oh, Sable, <laughs> I can't tell. I really wish I wasn't so gullible. It's quite a shame. <laughs> Coloring an e-bass, that will be just amazing. Was curious to know if you wanted to color another artist's work. Right now, honestly, um, I am going to color e work uh, for a... a um, jam piece that we're working on together, but in general, no, I don't color other artists' work. Nothing against anybody. I just barely have time to color my own. <laughs> so I wouldn't be able to keep up. What Twitch gets Dawn to say is what gets YouTube to kick her off. I know. <laughs> Steve, hello. Welcome to the stream today. Okay, so all I'm doing now is just doing a light 
addition of some of the colors from the sky. So I don't know if you guys were able to see that, but I just grabbed the little eyedropper tool and I picked a color from the blue in the sky somewhere. And um, now I'm just painting it into some of the elements. And that kind of gives it a cohesive look. It looks like, you know, that's cat. All the different elements are part of the same environment. Um, I don't want it to look like she's standing in front of a backdrop. Here we go, getting some blue going on in here. Oh wow, there's a raid. Thank you so much for the raid. Let me go check um, on Twitch. Guys, thank you so, so, so much. So who raided? I'm checking Leota. Oh, Ergo Josh is raiding. Oh, Ergo, thank you. Thank you so, so, so much to everyone. And you guys are awesome for being on Ergo Josh's stream. He is so cool and um, has really, really awesome information as far as being an artist. I apologize. It looks as though my stream is a little bit glitchy today. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some weird things happening with my face. Um, but thank you all so, so much for being here. And um, my name is Dawn McTagg. I am a comic book artist and I am currently working on coloring a cover um, that I worked on with everyone last week. And now I'm doing the digital colors. So, um, if you have any questions about um, have any questions about digital coloring, I'll do my best to answer. And everyone that is from my stream, if you haven't followed Ergo Dro Josh yet, I can't English today. He has a Twitch channel, he has Instagram, and uh, he has an amazing YouTube channel. So definitely go support his pages and his channels because he rules. Thank you so much for, for tagging Ergo Josh. Please, everyone, go follow um, Ergo Josh. I <laughs> know you're sad, Leota. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I had to rush to Twitch to actually see. Ergo Josh, yes. No, thank you, Ergo. I really appreciate it. And I need to figure out how to do raids. I want to catch you back. <laughs> big time he has a sweet new apartment oh I need to go check out that video I missed it how did the move go okay I'm going back to Photoshop since I've just been focused on uh, her feet <laughs> Um, oh my goodness. And thank you all so much for the follows. I appreciate it so, 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 so much. And I hope that you all are doing well. It went well. Everything is really perfect. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go check it out on YouTube. Is it on YouTube yet? Okay. Let me get this so I can see everyone's chats. It is. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I'm going to check it out for sure. And thank you all so much, all the new followers. I appreciate it a ton. And thanks to everyone who is also going and following Ergo Josh. <laughs> Okay, so I am in Photoshop, and what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to 
I have all the chats beside me here, but I keep missing if someone follows. So just thank you all so much for your support and the follows. I'm sorry if the, the camera is very glitchy. I hear it is today, unfortunately. <laughs> what were you working on today, Ergo? Hello! I was just sketching some faces. I've been super out of practice. I was excited to see you doing digital. Oh, thank you so much, Ergo, and that's awesome. I guess, yeah, moving can kind of take, take precedence over arting, for sure. Hello, Dixon Arts. Oh, thank you, Steve Paxton. Yeah, I'm I'm really happy that it worked out for me to live stream to um, Facebook and Twitch at the same time. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to keep up here. My drawing hand hath grown weak. <laughs> I hear you. See you later, Matthew. Thank you so much for hanging out. All right, so I'll show you guys. This is the um, alternate version. So this is the one I'm working on now. The one that I finished yesterday is this version. So it's, it's like a change of outfit. Um, it's called, in comics, it's called a patch. So I... Um, I drew this one and then the other one. And the only change really is the outfit. But I'm trying to do, you know, a, a slight environment color change as well, just so that both covers look different enough. So um, this is the main one, and then this is the alternate version. Thank you so much, Leota. We need El Lady Death string, di string dress cosplay. All are welcome except Juan. <laughs> do you have a YouTube? I do have a YouTube. So it's just my name, like the way it's spelled right here on YouTube. Thank you, Todd. I'm really, really sorry again, everyone, that it appears my face one is having some issues, but that's fine. You really don't need to see me. What matters is the art. <laughs> I'm, I'm not pixelated in real life. Let's put it that way. There's a fresh example of patches on the Boop Squad Facebook page. Whoop, whoop. Thank you so much. Dunen Newt. It, did I pronounce your name correctly? I'm so sorry. Thank you. All right, so I am still attempting to change some of the ambient light on the pumpkins. If her crown was black, she could be Sauron's hot stepmom. <laughs> well, thank you, Kanami. Hello, Taylor.
See you later, Bang Burst, and thank you so much for joining in. Sleep well. 4 a.m. is definitely go to bedtime. <laughs> I'm going to be all mummy on everyone. <laughs> I really, uh, I want to figure out how to do raids again. I think I can, I'm going to try it out today. We're going to do a test run because I really want to start raiding again. Um, and I've, I've been confused on how to do that now. <laughs> Hello, Lauren. No, it's Verlo. What did you say? What did you tell me to call you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I said mommy. <laughs> Verlo is fine. your heart desires, but Verlo is fine. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. Welcome to the stream today. Have you ever drawn or colored Vampirella? Yes, I have done, um, Two Vampirella covers so far. So much love in the chat. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going back to my flats. Because I want to put a little bit of ambient light on her arm. Can we marry people in the chat? <laughs> I don't think that works. last place that I need to do the color picking or color adjusting it's here happening I have lost what's happening in the chats completely. The chat is going wild. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> oh, you've never seen the love command before? Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad that you're having fun. Don't apologize. As long as you guys are having a good time, that's great. <laughs> At least, um, at least, um, Muba is being a little bit nicer. <laughs> Sometimes it can be a little cranky and mean. There's more love than that, John. Muba's just being cranky again. So much love. <laughs> Eight percent. Oh no. See, I told you guys, Muba is really cranky and mean. I wish there was a way that I could set it to like make the love higher. But didn't one person get a hundred percent? Kara, was that you and Juan? I think I've only seen um one person get uh a hundred percent love. <laughs> Doubtful. I'm being so well behaved, Paul. <laughs> it's true, really tall. That would be cool. Move on is broken. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Verlo. There's been a few zero percents lately. What is wrong with Mupa and its crankiness? <laughs> oh, Tanis and Juan got a hundred percent. You got a ninety-eight. That's so cool, John Paul. <laughs> I don't know this align the stars thing, guys. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe it happens. Maybe it happens when you just say love and nothing else. Oh my God, I cannot keep up. <laughs> Yeah, right, JR? Okay, so it's it's when you just say love that it does that. Because I haven't seen that before. <laughs> that sounds about right with Sherlock. Uh, Jeff, I sent the remarks back to Coffin Comics and I filled out one of the CGC things and then Coffin Comics is taking care of the distribution. Irvin Gray, hello and welcome to the stream. Ah. Is it going to say love? I got done. What? Oh, thank you, John Paul. That means so very much. I will do my best not to disappoint. Yeah, <laughs> this, the dear leader transcends all thing is very weird. I need to get that fixed. <laughs> my love for you transcends all as well, Camille. <laughs> <laughs> so much 
much love to everyone. Dan may have rigged that, yeah. Did you send all those prints back to Brian or are you still signing? I finished them all on Saturday. I did, I spent the entire day signing and repacking and rebagging and boarding and you know, I did them all in packages and they, they sent each package of like eight to 12 books in little packs in a bunch of bubble wrap, like a lot, like three levels of it or more. And so I um, would do them one pack at a time. So I signed over 120 prints, I think, and over 300 comic books. And they're all packed up again, and I'm waiting for the uh, return labels from Coffin Comics, but they're ready to go. Whoop, whoop. <clears throat> Is there a character you haven't drawn yet but really want to? I'm I'm actually really happy that I get to draw so many characters, so I don't have any that I um, am feeling like I'm really missing out on right now. I'm I'm a happy girl. Um, so you know what pops to my mind? Would you train someone to learn drawing? Um, I. I try to in my way of being here and to help train. I do have one um, person that I'm mentoring, but then beyond that, I don't really have time. But I do have my boop squad and I do my best to um, be here for any questions that you have. Hello, Kimin. Thank you, Camille. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, very lame. Yeah, I have one more hour. Looking forward to a nice signature. I really hope I did a good job. I was pretty, um, rusty on signing things. It took me a little while um, to get my signature back. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. How is Dawn doing today? I am doing great, Kimin. <clears throat> and again, I'm so grateful to Ergo Josh and his whole crew for the raid. You guys are amazing. And I've been trying to figure out how to raid now that I'm using a completely different platform. And I think I figured it out. So we'll try today because I really want to keep raiding. I feel a little crappy getting raided and not returning the raids. So we need to raid. <laughs> I, I first found Josh on, on YouTube and was like, this guy has such good information. <laughs> this is not real. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to start painting. You tried to raid him on your last stream, but was too late. Aw, sorry. I know, we've got to raid Ergo Drosh and Camille Town. Yes. I think to the Twitch mods can raid for you. Really? Moobot is lying, Ver Verlo. Like, completely lies. So much lies. <laughs> the hard part, my friends, the very, very, very hard part that I'm always nervous about is the latex. 
Latex is really, really hard to do. For me, anyway. You know, some people are really good at it and latex is fun for them. It's really not fun for me. <laughs> David Balance, hello and welcome. When you're in Hidden Rainbows Twitch, she often has her mods do it. Interesting. Are you going live after this, Camille? You need to go get ready. All right, I'm going to be on for one more hour. So that gives you enough time to get ready and all of that. And then we, w oh, like drive home. Well, I have, I'm going to leave. Mm, I'll probably raid in like 45 minutes. Should be fine. All right. I need to make sure that I... Just type backslash raid and input the name of the channel. Thank you for that, Nick, because I'm always forgetting and I have to look it up. <laughs> I always love too hard, it's a curse. <laughs> Oh, that's great. <clears throat> I did not notice. Oh my God, we got a hundred percent love. Woohoo! It happened. Look at this. Muva is like finally being nice for once. <laughs> Damn, Sable is a lover. <laughs> Brandy, hello. We love you. It's good to see you. Oh, that's a good way to do it. Don't, um, don't put my full name in there. 77% love. You're a giver, but it's a double-edged sword. I want latex latex see you later Camille town hopefully we'll catch you on your live stream I know it's really difficult um, Marcus is move being mean again <laughs> Okay, I'm making a new layer because the chances of me being happy with my first, between my first and my sixth try of um, the latex, I'm not going to like it. I can tell you right now, I'm not going to like it. That is just how I roll. So, I'm going to um, probably have to paint it many, many, many times. Um, and refine 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 yes candace you smart 
<laughs> so step number one, I want to have, um, I want to have like some gradient almost. So what I'm going to use for that is I'm going to use the, the, um, lasso tool. Because here I want to have a section that's picking up the ambient light from below. So I'm going to just grab some random color from down there and take the hardness down to zero. I want this to be really soft. And then I can turn the opacity lower if I want to. But let's just give this a shot. So I always struggle with latex. I find it very difficult. Uh, I have an easier time with it on traditional art. I have a really hard time with it on, um, uh, on digital. Gotta go fix stream settings before I forget. Good night, Ergo. Thank you so much for the raid. Take care. Have a good one. And I'm gonna go catch your YouTube video. I wanna see your new place. Woohoo! Chicken Heed, hello! Thank you, Mark. Oh no, you're wonderful, Ergo. I really appreciate the support and I am going to pay it forward, I promise. And one of these days, I hope I can actually catch you live so I can raid your channel. See you later, Michelle. Okay, I'm gonna try to see if I can catch up. <laughs> Rob, that doesn't help me at all. I'm not trying to wear latex. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Mr. E is here. That's so awesome. Welcome to the stream. Okay, I don't like that. Delete. You just got off from work. Okay, well, it's so good to see you. gonna need you to get all the way off my um <laughs> Rob and Kara what is happening <laughs> laughing and typing don't mix it's a thin layer of love latex between us though <laughs> oh my god Peanut butter and cheese sandwich, Nino likey. <laughs> I just don't, I don't understand the, the, the concept of combining peanut butter and cheese. <laughs> the guy from YouTube makes these videos with these sayings. A Danish friend. Oh, wow. This is so kind. Thank you so much, Sable. Ple oh, Steve. Sorry. That is so awesome. Please thank her so much or 
her, yeah, please thank her so much for me. That means a lot. Your grandpa used to eat that peanut butter and cheese. Nope, nope. <laughs> Something is happening. <laughs> Oh my god, Rob and Kara are just at it today. <laughs> Chocolate bar dipped in peanut butter. Now I can get on board with that. <laughs> you have a friend that eats peanut butter and tuna. That also I don't know if I can get on board with. It's Latex Wednesday, that's right. Your wife makes peanut butter and banana sandwiches with mayo. Again, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I could get on board with that one either. <laughs> She's in Super Boop Squad. Oh, yay. So I'm just going to do what I what I found, um, just to talk about art for a second. I'm going to pause the craziness <laughs> and talk about art. Um, Dawn and her food shaming. Oh my god! Um, something that I find extremely helpful is um, if you're stuck on something with coloring and you don't have a ton of time to. Um, to go find some information or watch a super long video like checking one of mine that are three hours long and try to find the one spot where I mentioned the one thing that you could do. Um, you could, um, you can also go to Pinterest. That's what I do. And I'll look up like a uh, flame color tutorial and just any of those things I have like gone down the rabbit hole or the rabbit trail or whatever it's called and just been pin 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 all the different little little tiny mini tutorials so it's like you know even just three images of step one step two step three and you know you've got to sit there and um really think about it and really study it because sometimes the explanations aren't in the language I understand so I have to kind of just look at the examples but I'm telling you they're so helpful so if you're stuck on something just check Pinterest and and look up little mini tutorials they're the best Ugh, Pinterest destroyed the interwebs why and how I love pinning oh is Mark leaving well, I, for, for what it's worth, right, Verlor? <laughs> I, I find it extremely helpful. Also, one other thing that I've been finding really helpful for picking color schemes and, and getting color ideas is there's a couple um, Pinterest boards that I've found that basically just do swatch collections. So they'll have like four swatches and they're like for color combinations. Um, excuse me, so like suggestions, they're like kind of paint palettes for decorating your room or whatever, but I find them really helpful for covers because it gives you an idea of complementary colors that aren't, you know, your standard base color of everything. They have really interesting ones and I've been looking, um, I've been looking at Pinterest a lot lately for, for color ideas. Um, so for what it's worth, if it helps anyone. Should do Lucifer fan art. <laughs> oh, interesting. So I'm sorry, Ian. Yeah, that can be annoying. I have the, the Pinterest app because one of my nighttime routines before I go to sleep is looking through my Pinterest. <laughs> What is happening? Why is this not working? You 
saved a couple swatches for skin tone. Yeah, they have swatches for skin tone. They have swatches, and it's just like, you know, four or five little squares. Or sometimes they'll have the inspiration photo, which is like, you know, a tropical fish or something like that. And so it's really, it's really awesome just to fill your mind with, with various color combinations. And I've found it incredibly helpful. Alright, so what I'm doing is phase one, I am going to be doing the um, highlights on here. And then phase two, well, my phase one is going to be I'm doing the highlights with like a soft brush because I need to plan out where they're going to be. Phase two is going to be tightening them up because I think that higher contrast is what really helps something look uh, latex as opposed to looking like velvet. So right now it's kind of, it looks like it maybe could be leather, but it could also just be like velour. And I don't want her wearing velour. I'm going for the leather slash latexy look. So I'm gonna start out with just basic, um, um, just basic rough areas that I'm picking where I want the shines to be. Then I'll work on um, refining them a little bit and making the lines sharper and stuff. Noted, no velour jumpsuit, that's right. don't know if I want shine on both sides here, but it kind of stands to reason that there would be more shine coming from the back because that's where the moon is. And if anything, I shouldn't have as much shine coming from the other side. Exactly, Ian. That's a really good way of putting it. <laughs> I don't expect them to pay attention at all, Juan. They have gone very, um, it's gone full mayhem around here. <laughs> Shirley, you just ordered the complete art book collection. Aw, oh, Shirley, thank you so, so, so much for your support. So much love to you. I hope it reaches you safely and thank you again and I hope you like them. Woohoo! Thank you so much, Shirley. Not paying attention, that's a paddling. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> ah. You're not paying attention to the art as usual. Oh, this is for everyone to have fun. Yay. Okay, some kind of highlight on her back thigh from the moon makes sense to me, but it probably needs to be a little bit less kabam. It's a little bit too kabam. I'm looking to buy a digital sketch board. Do you have any recommendations for brands or models? Arthur, do you mean like a, a tablet? Do you want one with a screen? I agree really tall. It can't be done in velour. <laughs>
We have a new follower. Thank you so much and welcome to the stream. <laughs> you guys, I don't even know. I don't even know what is going on. <laughs> I am so not getting any of the jokes. Nothing. What is happening? New followers. That's a paddling. <laughs> the yeah. Um, okay. So you were asking about pa tablets. I use the. Um, I use uh, a Wacom. So I have a Cintiq, but I also uh, always. I only got a Cintiq recently and it's, they're not cheap, but I've used the Wacom Intuos ones for, for many, many years. And I personally have found them really, really good. They just don't break. Jeff, you just finished a gym workout. The banter on this Dawn stream made it fun. Oh, yay. Thank you so much for being here, Jeff. And good on you for working out. I should really follow suit and do that as well. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Mike, thank you for doing the art books um, control command. Thank you. I don't know that I want orange. I think I'm going to go with white here. Okay, so we're gonna do soft brush to just get the basics down. Oops, I need to fix the, the pearls thing. Or I'm sorry, the print of the month. Yes, that, that's exactly what it is. It's the companion piece, Wildstorm. To, yeah, the one from last stream. So I finished the one from last stream. Here, here it is. Um, and then now I'm working on the alternate outfit and changing the color scheme a little bit. Yay, thank you, Rob. Okay, so now what I need to do is start refining the edges and making sure that I'm happy with where they all are. But I also don't want to make it look too stripy. You can paddle in private, Kara. <laughs> it's only fun with the emote. Oh my god! trying to decide it actually might be more appropriate for the um for there to be orange on this side oh my god Yeah, it's very true, Philip.
Do you have a list of all the projects you have done? I do not really tall. I should, but I don't. I do love what we do in the shadows. <laughs> yes, Kara is on a mission today. <laughs> Nineteen percent love. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, Kara. Nope, I made a bad call, I made a bad call. I changed that to white and it did not look good. All right, so let's, I wanna get a little bit more over here. Oh, thank you so much for letting me know, Philip. You are awesome. I feel really bad. I need to I need to remember to look up at the camera as opposed to looking down and reading. I'm so sorry, everyone. Kara has the paddle and Juan has the fire hydrant. Agreed. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, it's so great. You love the top of my head. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> Kara, I love that emoji. It's so great. <laughs> Not weapons, implements of discipline. <laughs> Steve, that means so, so, so much. And I, I know I told you this last time, so I know you know but backgrounds are really hard for me, so it means extra. I love you extra. <laughs> it's true, Juan needs an emote of a fire hydrant. So bad. What is happening? I need actual black here. Mark is back! Yay! We were worried we scared you off, Mark. Did we scare you off? Oh wow, you just had an earthquake, Steve? Jeez, that's so scary. I 
would like to say I'm happy with this. Scaring Mark off. That's a pat. <laughs> oh, yay, Paul. Too true, Juan. I need to figure out how to make you the, the little cards and just remove her hand so that you don't have anything but the, the fire hydrant in all of its pure glory. <laughs> all right, I think that the thinner... Um, Highlight actually looks a little bit better. Hello, new follower. Thank you so much for joining in. I'm so sorry. I don't know what your, your name because I can't see it, but I really, really appreciate it. Oh, it's Steven Boat. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the stream. Kara has a paddle. Dawn has dangling fuzzy balls when she wears a hat. Paddle fuzzy balls next time on Dawn's crazy art stream. Stay tuned. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, welcome Slinks McGurk. Thank you so much for the follow. You know what? You guys could totally tell me that a bunch of people are following and have me read all kinds of random things so don't do that <laughs> brandy has the cake emote Paddle ball. Are you going to be adding any comics to your store this month? Um, Konami, I did earlier this month, I think it was. Oh, wait. Okay, I did in May. I haven't done any this month, and I don't know that I have any planned for this month. I don't believe so. <laughs> That's true. I also have the hook. <laughs> See you later, Scott. Lots of love to Mo, and I can't wait to see your posts. I'm going to go check it out. Whoop, whoop. Thank you for hanging out. Only the smooth criminals are safe. <laughs> you really want to push an emotes only chat? Oh my god, that would be hilarious. Oh, thank you so much, Konami. You are amazing. I really, really appreciate you checking out my store. You are so kind. I appreciate the support. You are amazing. Thank you. I'm 
Nope, that doesn't look good. I told you guys, me and latex, it's not a it's not a happy mix, so there's a lot of um trial and error that's gonna be happening right now. You're bad with compliments. Well, I mean it, and I really appreciate it. Have you signed up to my email list? Do you have the 25% the off coupon, or have you used it already? Guys and gals, you gotta go. See you later, Arthur. Thanks for hanging out. Dawn's gonna say that's a paddling by accident. I know. I probably will. I like the two the two rim lights on her leg there. I think or the two latex highlights. I think that looks it makes it look more like latex. You're on my list but you don't think you saw the coupon. Yeah, you must have gotten okay. Um if you haven't already used it, um, send me a email or something and I can get it for you. Like if you still don't have the email, you didn't receive the coupon either. Okay, Candice and Konami, both of you, uh, send me an email or, uh, message me. Sometimes my messenger doesn't work. Uh, message me on my art page on Facebook or send me an email. So my email contact is on my website. Let me know that because I need to, um, I need to figure out why you guys didn't receive the coupons and I will, I will send it to you. It only works one time per email, but just let me know. Put the tiniest touch of blue in your highlight color. You might be surprised. Okay. I'm going to try that. Yes, Mike, I am using OBS for the whole streaming thing. And then the platform that I'm using to kind of patch it into Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube simultaneously is called Mob Crush. You have the email from two days ago about Vampirella. Okay, well, that one wouldn't have the coupon in it because it's a subscriber coupon. So the first time... Uh, when you first subscribe, you'll get an email and it gives you a coupon. Um, so that means you've subscribed, but probably like the coupon, it hasn't expired, but you may not still have the email or know where the coupon is or whatever. You think you predated the coupon Oh, Rob, I will totally send it to you. Chicago predates a lot of things. Oh my God, Kara. <laughs> what happened to Mr. E? Oh, wow. You just felt the earthquake? Where is Ridgecrest? I need to look that up. Where is Ridgecrest? Or can someone just tell me? It wasn't bad, guys. It was a tremble. <laughs> oh, you're such a sweetheart. It's in Nevada? Okay. Uh, Ian, doesn't matter. Save yourself. It's in California. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, it's in Barstow, California. Interesting. Was it clo close to you, Juan? 
58 miles north. So did you feel it? <laughs> Hello, Jeff. Welcome to the stream today. You're here for the last few minutes. I apologize for that. Camille is streaming. Excellent. So we need to go um, raid Camille. I think, I think my plan is going to work. What I hope to do is to go into uh, Twitch, raid Camille, and then, well, say bye to everyone, go to Twitch, raid Camille, and then turn off my stream. Something like that. <laughs> Camille is offline on your screen. Remember, backslash raid. Thank you, Nick. I really appreciate it. Tech support win. Yes, so that I did know, Nick, but I'm always forgetting. 15 minutes until dessert. <laughs> I wish, Philip, none dessert for me. Thank you, Jeff. What's for dinner? I don't know. <laughs> Dan is uh, awesome and he is doing the cooking like an angel. I'm very grateful and very fortunate, I am aware. You got brownies you made earlier today. Oh, I'm jealous, Gabriel. You got the email and now Camille is active. Woohoo! <laughs> I wish. <laughs> That's a paddling, Mr. E. <gasps> Kara, I'm going to laugh every time I see that. It's so funny. Okay, well. Um, I'm pretty much done with this. I just need to keep refining the latex and then it's finished. Well, and her top, the naughty bits, which I can't do on stream anyway. So hopefully I'm going to finish this tonight or maybe first thing tomorrow morning. I'm still very late with sending out my diaries email. I apologize, everyone. I will do that. But here is the cover, and this is probably the last you will see of it until uh, Coffin releases the cover. So, whoop, whoop. Thank you all so much for hanging out. You guys rock. This has been fun. We can all start getting in the Halloween mood. See you later, Jeff. <laughs> and here is the main version. Again, bear in mind, everyone, this is pending approval. So none of this has been approved yet. My color schemes have not uh, been submitted. So, you know, everything is still work in progress until approved. It is raid time, guys. We're going to do this. So first off, I'm going to say I love you all. Thank you for hanging out. Let's go raid Camille. All right. I just need to get my keyboard. Good night, you all. I love you so much. Raid. Meal. Town. I think that's how you do it. Okay, we're getting ready to raid. See you all. Just so everyone knows, uh, raiding is something that's happening in Twitch. We're going to go show our support for another streamer. So let's go do it. Let's give her lots of love. I love you all. Good night.